Hey everybody, I received an email and this one came from a friend of mine asking me to help her daughter divide using area models. No matter how many times I protest and say that I do high school math and I'm not really sure how to teach the kiddos, the young kiddos, I do get these emails. So I figured I would look into it. I was intrigued and I said, divide using area models. Let's see what that's all about. So the idea behind this is if you're a parent and you've sent this email to me and you're like, there's no division in my child's division, you are correct. The idea behind this method uses the relationship between multiplication and division to actually solve division problems by multiplying. There's no division in this division problem. So what I mean is, if you somehow forgot how to do 15 divided by three, but you remembered that three times five was equal to 15, you would know that you would have the answer to 15 divided by three, simply because 15 divided by three is five because five times three is 15. So it takes the fact that multiplication and division are opposites and says, you're going to divide this problem by using your knowledge of multiplication. So let's see how it works. We are going to divide 72 divided by four using the area model method. And so the first step is to draw a rectangle and you're going to put the divisor, which is always the smaller number, on the outside of this rectangle. And so remember, the divisor is going to be four, the smaller number, the dividend, the thing we're dividing up is the larger number. We're gonna draw a rectangle and put four on the outside. Now, this is called an area model. Area models will often use rectangles and they will use multiplication, simply because if I were to find the area of a rectangle, I would remember that it's base times height. So that's where you get a rectangle and it's area model and you use a rectangle. Okay, so let's get on with this problem. So step one, draw a rectangle, put the smaller number, the divisor on the outside of the rectangle. Step two, instead of dividing four into 72 all at once, let's say you say, I don't know what to multiply four by in order to get 72. And really who does off the top of their head? You're going to pick smaller multiples of four. All that means is you're gonna pick smaller four times table facts. And you're gonna to get to 72 in steps. Where's a good place to start? A good place to start is by multiplying by 10. Everybody knows their tens times tables, so let's do that. Four times 10 is 40. 40 is not 72, but it's a good chunk of 72. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna say, I don't know what you multiply by four to get 72, but I do know that four times 10 is 40, and that's on the way to 72. So step three, you're gonna put the number you multiply the divisor by, so 10 on the top of the rectangle. And then you're gonna kind of divide it up with this little line here so it doesn't get messy. And then you're gonna put the product, four times 10, you need to put that inside the rectangle. You need to know that this 40 is here because you already have 40 out of the 72 that you're trying to divide into. All right, so what's left over to divide into? That We, we really need to figure that out. We're gonna subtract 40 from 72 and continue this process. So 72, minus 40 equals 32. This means we still have 32 to divide into. We haven't divided four into 72. We've only divided in, into 40. And parents, you might be thinking, gosh, this is like a deconstructed way we learned it. This is the exact method we learned, except we just divided and we're doing it kind of backwards. But all the steps are there. All right, so the next question, do you know what multiplies to four to get 32? And if you don't, the beauty of this method is that you might not know four times what equals 32. And that's okay, because you can baby step it there. You can just use a product you do know to get to 32. So let's say you don't know what to multiply by four to get to 32, but you do know four times five is 20. 20 is less than 32, we can use it. So we're gonna put five up there. So we're gonna say four times five is what? It is 20, we gotta put 20 inside the box. So what have we divided into already? We have divided into 60. 40 plus 20 is 60. We're still not at 72, so we've gotta subtract again. 32 minus 10 is 12. At this point we say, okay, four times what is 12? And hopefully we know four times three is 12. You only have to, even if you're doing it by adding, you'd say four, then eight, then 12. 
So we are going to finish this problem by saying, I know that four times three is 12, and I have finished this problem. Let's get ourselves some clean space. Now you do wanna make sure the numbers inside the rectangle equal the number you were dividing, right? The dividend, the bigger number. So do 40 plus 20 plus 12 equal 72, and they do. Now this won't always be the case. You might have a problem with a remainder, and so you could have a remainder and use the area model to solve it, right? In this case, it divides evenly, so we're, we're lucky. It equals 72. Now, how do we get our answer? We still don't know the answer. And remember, the answer to a division problem is called a quotient. So what's our quotient? Well, the answer or the quotient is the sum of all of these, we'll call them partial quotients up here. So we divided into part of 72 and got 10. We divided into another part of 72 and got five. We divided into another part of 72 and got three. Therefore, my answer is the, the sum of all of those numbers. 72 divided by four is 10 plus five plus three or 18. Okay, so that's the area method. Let me show you how it really does relate to what we learned as kids. And by we, I mean us parents. So 72 divided by four. This problem is asking how many groups of four can we make from 72 or how many fours make up 72? All right, we're not gonna use a rectangle, but we are gonna put the dividend, that larger number, inside a division bracket that kind of looks like an open rectangle. And we are gonna put the divisor, the smaller number, on the outside. So here is the dreaded division bracket, but you can think of it as your rectangle, but we are actually going to divide. We're gonna put 72, the larger number, or the dividend inside. We're gonna put four, the divisor, on the outside. And we are going to start with the first digit. We are going to say, how many times does four go into seven without going over? Well, I know four times one is four. I know four times two is eight, and eight is too much. Therefore, it's gotta be one. And I'm putting it over the seven, because remember, we've only divided into seven so far. We haven't even looked at the two. So we have to figure out what's left over, right? So four times one is four, so we know we didn't go into seven evenly. So what's left over? Well, there's five, six, seven. There's three left over, right? Seven minus four is three. Three's left over. This is where kids are like, what do I do with my leftover? All right, well, not to panic. We've got three left over. It's from the tens column, right? Seven's in the tens column. So we've got a three left over. It's from the tens column. We've got a two in the ones column. We know that three tens and two ones makes 32. That means we have to divide four into 32, okay? Notice I'm not doing all that subtraction and bringing down all that stuff. You don't really need to do all of that. You just need to say four goes into the seven once, three left over. Three with two, three in the tens place makes 32. How many times does four go into 32? 32 divided by four is eight. We're supposed to know that, right? We have to know our facts up to 12s. So we have to know those for division. And so we just put the eight up there and we get 72 divided by four is equal to 18. So there you go. It's the area method and I've showed you how it relates to how your parents probably learned it. I hope this helped. If not, ask me questions, email them, put them in the comments. And when you get to high school, I'm really gonna be able to help you because division, this is out of my wheelhouse. Thanks for watching.